What's going on guys? My name is Miguel Leal for MRC Latino. I hope you folks are staying safe and if you're a parent, I hope your homeschooling is going well. I know how tough that can be. Without further ado, the bell has rung. Time for news by his class. The good. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Telemundo actually talked about China's mishandling of COVID-19, the first Spanish language network to do so. Well, I think from the very beginning of this crisis, uh, the Chinese Communist Party government has been more interested in its public image than it has been in addressing the uh, disease. Tras analizar más de 300 ejemplos de mensajes en las redes sociales por parte del gobierno chino y de la agencia estatal de la prensa china, todo parece indicar que hay una campaña concertada para mejorar la imagen del país ante todo lo que ocurrió. Thank you, Telemundo. It's nice to hear something that doesn't have to do with the scary orange man. The bad. We all have heard about the hashtag MeToo movement. You know, the one that says we should believe all women when they talk about sexual harassment. You know, the one that tried to derail Brett Kavanaugh's confirmation to the Supreme Court, right? By that logic, we should believe this, right? Called me in and said, I want you to take this to Joe. He wants it. He wants you to bring it, hurry. And I said, okay, and it was a gym bag. She said, you know, take the gym bag. She called it athletic bag. And, you know, she said he was down towards the Capitol and he'll meet you. It happened all at once. The gym bag, I don't know where it went. I handed it to him, it was gone. And then his hands were on me and underneath my clothes. And um, yeah, and then he went, oh, he went down my skirt, but then up inside it. And he uh, penetrated me. I guess Telemundo and Univision think that if they don't report on it, then it can't be true, right? Wrong! That's not how it works. Bias by omission is a thing. A very distasteful thing. I wish they would treat this with the same energy that they talked about Kavanaugh allegations. Mario Archila, el, el enfrentamiento que usted tuvo con el senador Flake no cambió su voto. Sin embargo, ¿por qué lo hace? ¿Por qué es importante hacerlo? Yo lo hago porque realmente pienso en mi hija y en mi hijo, eh, lo hago porque eh, en realidad las historias que están saliendo eh, en solidaridad con Dr. Ford eh, están creando eh, un, una nueva conciencia. The ugly. Now, obviously, the show would not be complete if we didn't mention my boy, Jorge Ramos. As usual, using panic to fit his agenda. This time, he twisted Fauci's interview to fit his rhetoric. Have a look. ¿Por qué no se hizo algo antes? ¿Cómo estamos aceptando estas cifras terribles de esta forma? Anthony Fauci, quien es, por supuesto, el asesor, eh, uno de los principales asesores del presidente Donald Trump, que, por cierto, ha asesorado a seis presidentes norteamericanos, ¿Ah, sí? dio, dio una entrevista a CNN y dijo exactamente las cosas como son. Si hubieran actuado antes, si el gobierno del presidente Trump hubiera actuado antes, se hubieran salvado más vidas. Y tenemos lo que dijo para que no me crean. Escuchen lo mejor. And you started mitigation earlier, you could have saved lives. Obviously no one is going to deny that. Es sencillo. ¿Sí? Si hubiéramos empezado con las medidas antes, se hubieran salvado vidas. Uh, Jake, I'm sorry. I mean, uh, to just say this is all happening because we got started too late. Obviously, if you look, could you have done something a little bit earlier? Would it have had an impact? Obviously, but where we are right now is the result of a number of factors. So obviously, I would have been nice if we had a better head start, but I don't think you could say that we are where we are right now because of one factor. It's very complicated, Jay. I mean, we don't hear, oh, hey, the world would be better off if China didn't wait two months to declare a mandatory quarantine. That often, that's why I had to make it the first segment. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed the show. Give it a like and a share if you did. Follow us on our other media sites and stay on top of all the new content. Hope you stay sane, active, not bored, and most importantly, wash your hands and stay at home. Goodbye, folks.